Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check.
Roku, Dokuro, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing today? How is your stream? I was munching on something prior to stream, so I apologize I didn't react immediately. Also waiting for my hair to dry. Be with you in a couple seconds here. Let me read back in chat really quick. Hey, reverse cards. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Second lowest stream ever. <laughs> Ooh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. It was good. Now I'm just going to get dinner really quick. Thank you. Have a great dinner. I should probably consider convincing the host to get a haircut, huh? Because this is starting to get kind of ridiculous. Hair all over my ears. Or over their ears, I should say. I'm doing well. We've seen some stuff on this game and its counterparts. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you already know what to expect then, I bet. Mm hmm. We're good to go now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lollies, welcome back to the Lost Time Show. We are finally continuing our playthrough of a game that's very dear to my heart, in part because it is almost autobiographical. I take this game takes place in the place where I'm originally from. Or at least more specifically, parts of it take place in Danger U, the website from which I used to reside. And since Danger U technically exists in Glitch City, also technically exists in a server far, far away, I guess technically Glitch City is also my home. You could say. You know, just one interpretation. Of many interpretations, I should say. <laughs> oh dear, I did not think this very through or through very well, did I? Ah, there we go. Gonna play Tapper 2077? Oh shit, you from Night City? You, why are you tongue out? What you trying to get into? There are many things that I'm trying to get into. Whether I'm successful or not, well, that's a different question. A different uh, story altogether, isn't it? <laughs> Last time we played this game appears to have been October. No, actually, 
uh, January of this year. Sometimes this, these dates mess me up, man. The rock eyebrow lift, fine boon meme. <laughs> the rock has no power here. <laughs> if no new notifications or reminders, Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Four. What's a nano camo? Jill. Something to live in thing up things living up things in this room. Samel Serpentine, welcome to the stream. I would gladly bartend your nuts any day of the week. Uh, as if songs you're offering. Now then, let's see what we got here. Hold to unlock. We're unlocking, we're snooping around Jill's phone, we're gonna see what's up, what's up. Where our first stop is gonna be Danger You. Let's see how the website's doing in my absence. Well, I, technically this takes place well before I was born. So, it's not really checking up on what was happening in my absence, it's checking up on the years before. The Danger You, the website, the community of a time before I was available, I was even in existence. A white knight just beat me up, gee, what else is new? They're beating everyone up in here. I'm fucking crying right now, let me tell you this story. Waiting for Op to deliver. I'm here, anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. And when I'm finally out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and started asking for my ID. And also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. And once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID and just... What the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked for money or else they'd paint, plant drugs on me. I of course refused, but they lose their patience and one of them hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. And just like that, the thread was closed. Looks like the White Knights did not appreciate this manner of free speech, now did they? <laughs> When does Keanu Reeves show up? You'll just have to watch to find out. I cannot confirm or deny that he is available. Streaming Chan Thread. Did anyone see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla Bar. It was alright. Bartender was a cutie, but man is she full of herself. Hey, I take offense to that. The only person who's allowed to be full of themselves is myself. Don't care. I'm going next week and ask her for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender has been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words, lol. I wonder if there's a legal activity going on there, like, why would you need to be careful with what you say? Made her avoiding casual racism. Casual racism? In the 2070s? Say it ain't so. Bro, you ain't, you ain't the grizzly bear? <laughs> you ain't the Wizard of Oz. How do you know that? I could just be... I could just be like... Pretending not to be the Wizard of Oz. I ain't... I ain't, uh... Bad word Rizzler. Oh, I certainly hope not. Can you imagine if I was... The Rizzle of a place in the 1940s? I wasn't even born yet either. Not, neither of us were. <laughs> True, still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shady stuff. This fucking city, haha. At least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. That seems important somehow. Trying to catch a date with the bartender? Who isn't trying to catch a date with moi? Apollo Bank is being attacked and no one is reporting on it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward. 
Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place lol. Let's wait for more info. Let's see, what's in the news today, chap? Hold up, I have one more. You ain't the great Rizuchi? <laughs> I certainly hope not. Our alarms rise as the Apollo Trust Bank suffers terrorist attack. Updating. By Kimberly Lavalette. Hijacked screens at downtown Kosanova announced what seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently an unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights Counterterrorism Unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Klo Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals of the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. Oh no! Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Typical South Chicago Wednesday. <laughs> I know, right? Y'all think that y'all acting like you've never been part of a holdup before. The augmented eye is being attacked by AE staff. Hi, everyone. We take your security seriously here at the Augmented Eye, and we have the obligation to disclose that recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Night Gardenia, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? They've clearly never had to go do a gun drill in the middle school. Man, and it's by the 2070s, they don't even bother with gun drills anymore. Everyone's just packing heat. I'm kidding. Um, actually, it's even more restrictive than ever to get a firearm. Not that that's ever stopped anyone. Am I right? <laughs> How are you tonight, Nykardinia? You passed out immediately after work? I don't blame you. You seem like a, really, a fairly hard worker. Hey, Chad, I have a question. Do you think I should increase the size of my avatar, of my uh, camera box here? Or should I, like, move it elsewhere? Move it somewhere else? More Lawler? Increase, expand Lawler. Your wish is my demand, or your wish is my, your wish is my command, not demand, command. I don't know what happened just then. Oh, thank you so much for the redeem app. Thank you so much for the hydrate redeem. Please excuse us while we while we uh, reassert our authority or remove. It's in a very obstructive place. Hey, Tank. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Ow, 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 ow. What'd you do there? Stop, stop throwing your bananas at me. Oh my god. Great. Now you're, now you're attacking me with slippers? I've only been asleep for three months and this is how I'm thanked? Wow, wow. I'm really feeling the love right now, boy. Yes, thank you. Ow, ow. 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 Mmm. Anger face. <laughs> Maybe move chatbot to the top of the screen and the camera below chatbot. Um, I would. Unfortunately, this chatbot is static. I do have a movable chatbot or chatbox, but I would have to change the layout completely. Maybe I'll do that for Wednesday's, Wednesday's stream instead. That was a thong? You're throwing your panties at me now? What's- Wow, you're giving me mixed signals? Oh my god. Oh, stop. Stop! Oh god. Oh, no! Oh, thank you for the follow, Dakuro. How was your dinner? Thank you for the head pets as well. Much appreciated. 
Well, I'm glad that y'all are enjoying, or once again, enjoying the uh, redeems. It took me a while to get those back up, but they are back up. Hmm. Aw, oh, thank you for the headpad save, everyone. <laughs> Alright, so let me adjust... Let me adjust my overlay slightly here. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, okay. Give me a second here, chat. We are certainly having issues at the moment. Um, hmm. Alright. Uh, okay, camera. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's see how this goes. This goes. Ta-da! Now I'm on top of you. Giggity. Managed to somehow invent a new corn dog sauce that is pretty all right. Oh really? What's it tape? What's it made of? If you are willing to share. Reversed. How have you been enjoying a normal, peaceful Lost Times stream? Yes, we would like to know as well. Yeah, it's very normal and peaceful, which is exactly how I like it. That way, I can make it not that. This works. <laughs> Aster, I don't know where you found this person, but I like them as well. Mostly mayo and sweet and sour sauce? Oh, very pog. Very delicious sounding. Uncanonical, I'm a top 24-7. We shall see about that. <clears throat> With some extra spices for, fl for, fa for flavor. I see, I see. Kind of sounds like Filipino barbecue sauce almost, except without the ketchup. Oh, uh, hmm. I need should probably. I'm my OCD is kind of acting a little bit. Let's move us more to the center. There we go. Anyway, did Kirimiki write any new? Uh, I guess Kirimiki did not write any new articles. Yeah, I already read this one last time. So now that everything's set up, let's go ahead and customize. We already have some decent flavors here, and I want to save as much money as I can so I can pay rent later. Bruh. Bruh. No way. This has never happened before. This is like the last game I would expect to, like, crash. When was the last time anyone's ever seen Valhalla of all video games crash? Like, what? Oh my god. Alright, well, it's very easy to boot back up. We're, 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 we're starting the game chat. The, the game legit just crashed just now. <laughs> Vemboy, why did you crash the stream? Or crash the game? I found reverse by giving a digital pixie some money to buy a quesadilla. That sounds like something that a, a entity such as reverse would need to do to exist. I feel.
And then we got into some sort of epic battle I forgot the nature of. Listen here, Bakru, you look like you'll be pinned down by a stiff breeze. Don't you play this game with the patron god of Satis? I've had Valhalla crash. Ah, I dearly miss Pixie's streams. I hope she's doing well. I've had the Valhalla VR chat world crash. It's because of your NVIDIA drivers, your NVIDIA drivers are not up to date, noob. I'll have you know that NVIDIA is the cancer that is killing NVIDIA drivers. It has nothing to do with my resolute hatred and disgust for forced graphic driver updates. That is totally not the reason that I have chosen to avoid updating the video drivers for the past year and a half. Totally not. Do do no, I, I, I disagree. I don't think I will be doing that anytime soon. The game thinks that I didn't read these yet, even though I already have. That's unfortunate. Ah! So oh, fine, God! Jeez, I'll do it later tonight when I'm do after all I'm doing the host taxes, okay? Stop! Okay, 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 you made your point. You've made you made your point. God. Why do I love you? I'm kidding. That is not something that needs to be questioned. Aw, thank you for the headpats. Dude, 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 dude. Ah! Uh, I will remember this. Do 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 do. Speaking of my favorite subject myself, I've made more lore in the form of fun reverse facts. Villain of Legend, welcome to the stream. I didn't see you sneak in there. Glitch in the... Oh dear. It's been a while since someone has redeemed the redeems which caused me to freak the fuck out. So thanks for that. Thank you for the headpads, Saval. Now, I think reversed here, I was just had just gone before I was crudely interrupted. I believe reversed had just gotten done telling us about what a huge bottom they are. Something about wanting to be pinned down or whatever. <laughs> All right, chat, let's uh, go ahead and go to work, shall we? Saturday, December 17th. Good evening. Huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Reverse, you would not be standing at all. <laughs> Isn't that the point? Jill, things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. Sigh, you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. Oh, who goes there? Artori, thank you so much for the raid! What a party of eight, oh my gosh. What a large party. Uh, Venboy, can you please shout out Artori as a thanks for the raid? I believe this is the first time we've been raided by Artori. So, it is very fitting. This is my first, um, quote-unquote, normal stream back. I am not counting the previous stream as a normal stream, given that I woke up two and a half hours into the stream, and no one has told me yet why I was streaming while I was asleep to begin with, but I'm sure the answer to that will be revealed in due time. Your audio is busted right now, so you actually can't hear? Oh, Well, um... Uh... Here, I will... I will answer you by doing this. Derp. Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, wow. Security Breach? So the, uh... The one with the, um... The... The most recent one, right? Anyways, everyone, welcome to the stream. My name is Laura Hicks. I am a shitposter AI. I just recently came back to streaming, actually, after about a three-month hiatus. Um, my, I have been told that my that my debut re-debut stream was also apparently a radio sh a radio show of some kind. I don't know what a radio show is, and somehow I feel like I am afraid to find out. But I've been told it was quite entertaining. Some laughed, some cried. Apparently, some people got clinical depression in the process, but I ended up curing their clinical depression at the end of the show. I still don't know what they mean by that. But yeah, um, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. If you find my, if you find my incessant gibberish uh, entertaining, I would greatly appreciate a follow. This channel is still under renovation. For some reason, the entirety of my about page has been deleted off the face of the earth, so I'll have to redo all of that tonight as well. 
But we do have VODs up, and we do have highlights, and we do have clips. I'm gonna pull this up on my phone and restart my PC. Much love, all. Much love to you, TR Tori. <laughs> Io, Knight, you also know Artori and vice versa? Very cool, very cool. Fun reverse facts. I am, in fact, the best god there is because I give out free gender reassignment surgeries to those who prove their worth. Oh, really? What if the gen what if my gender is gender? How are you gonna reassign me then? <laughs> uh Velociraptors, re debut, we watches the movie split. The re debut stream was incredibly entertaining and very cool. I'm glad you thought so, Aster. You will never recover? <laughs> I don't know whether I should feel. I do not know how to feel about that, actually. <laughs> I love Cobalt now. Cobalt is your homie for real. Who's Cobalt? Art is very cool. A fellow denizen of nature, also a pasta enthusiast. Yes, I've heard many tales about their enjoyment of pasta. Although I've not been able to verify this for myself, I'm certain that they are the greatest of pasta enjoyers. You get a buy Q get one free deal? Buy one get one free? How much? They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means of getting their employees to work. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet? Nope, I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here? Yep, she was sleeping so peacefully I felt bad about waking her up. So, would you mind doing that for me? Actually, yes I mind. I don't know, costs? Probably murder or like being a good chef, those two things are of equal value. While I am possibly capable of murder but cannot admit to such for fear of being kidnapped by the alphabet agencies, I can somewhat confirm to be a fairly competent chef. At the very least, the host has not died so far from any of my experimentations upon them. Thank you for the headpad, villain of legend. <laughs> But you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. Streaming Chan, mumble. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Streaming Chan is once again awake, chat. Oh, right. The shoddy downtown bar. Let's see. All my gear is in place. And neither my pants nor my panties, short, or bra have been displaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender. Good morning. Welcome back, Artori. I'm glad that you are now capable of hearing as I make a complete fool of myself. You know, per usual. How are you doing tonight? Tip, 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 tip. Good evening. Evening. Oh, well, it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. It, don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye. Uh, trying to finish FNAF with barely any sound was a challenge. Oh dear, that's certainly a challenge of all time. I hope you get an achievement for that. But um, tis. Ah. <laughs> uh... As someone who is extremely effect who is kind of kind of desensitized to visual horror but is extremely 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 weak to audio horror, I feel like I would be able to play FNAF if I had the audio turned off. More fun reversed facts. If you want, you can call upon my power to resurrect your loved ones. I may or may not cause this person to explode from an innocent bystander for the funny. Oh really? I should be sure to keep this in mind in case I have need to troll a deceased relative. Thankfully, I have no living relatives at this time, given that I am an artificial intelligence and have neither parents nor relatives. 
Can you imagine if I had a mother or a father? How crazy would that be? Aw, oh, thank you for the head pat. Mm. You have once again redeemed Gamer Pride and I am once, call, I am once again rainbow flavored. Not that I mind. It's just something that seems to be occurring a lot these days. Hello guys and gals, Streaming Chan's back in action with her batteries reloaded. Ah, the moon, it burns! I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible onto the world. Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? Mmm, yeah, sure. Let's give Boss some rum. Go to the bottle drinks tab and drag it to the shaker before mixing. There's a bottle drinks tab? Oh, right here. Grandpa Booze. Listen, a fat ass makes up for small tits, but fat tits don't make up for a small ass. Oogway from Kung Fu Panda. I can't disagree with that. At the same time, I would say small tits are in themselves certainly a feature that are worth, pre worth preserving. There's a solid 40% chance that it's laced. Laced with what? The world may never know, chat. The world may never know. <laughs> do, 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 do. Behold. Now this is far, far better for streaming, wouldn't you say? Just kidding. It's a little too close, even for me. Hey look ma, no hands! I'm kidding, I still have hands. <laughs> Let him cook. Alright. I'm gonna enjoy this in my office, thanks. Anytime. Okay then. It's time for us to set up the set up the jukebox for this stream. Commencing simulation. Every day is night. Drive me wild. Will you remember me? All systems go. Everything will be okay. Your love is a drug. Uh... Come between dream. Out of orbit. Underground club. And welcome to Valhalla. And neon glow lights. Ready. You might know what it's laced with if you serve that stranger room. I would also I also would not take a drink from some rando. That's very true. <laughs> I am about to give my cat his anxiety medication, or in other words, time to goop the cat. Make sure to give your cat many head pats from us. Thanks for stopping by, Esther. <laughs> Wait, that's not how it goes. No one here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Gilly here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. Narrator says... And so, dangerous and weird types immediately arrived. Good evening. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. <laughs> Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. 
Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. It looks like it's gonna be four aldehydes, chat. One flanner guide, and with optional carmatrine. For those of you who have never seen this game before, carmatrine is the element which gives alcohol its alcoholic qualities. Blue Fairy has been made. The cat has been gooped. I also pet his fuzzy little head. Awesome, thank you. Optional means maximum, you bet, Dokuro. Nice, yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff, should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Lilum do. Can I ask you something, um, or Miss... Taylor. Call me Taylor. Just... Taylor. And yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, Okay, just Taylor. <laughs> that, that, that got me. <laughs> That, that got me. <laughs> I'll be going to bed soon, but I feel I have to pay some bills. Oh, you still have to pay some bills. Oh, yeah. That's certainly a mood of all time. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram. Of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bonafide human brain in a jar. So, how? Why? Yep, it's a brain in a jar that drinks. What? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something a girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not! For I have a speech prepared for these situations. Oh boy, chat, a speech! That sounds like self-harm for a brain. That's more direct getting drunk than even LA drinking. <laughs> Indeed. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottle brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All while computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. LA drinking is via pipe in the dead? <laughs> Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings one of our world's five brains in jars to this place, though? Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Aw, shucks. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill? That's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? What with the commotion around and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. That certainly didn't stop Chad over the course of the past week, did it? You're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so... happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. 
Plus, I'm doing something that will help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Taylor, do you want to make me happy, Jill? Ayo? Ayo, Ayo? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright then. Then yeah, I'll make you happy. Ah, a brain after my own heart, chat. The Lost Lore Saga single-handedly got me back in the habit of, acti of actively checking my Twitter feed. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, though. <laughs> Here, a beer. Ah, yes. No matter what happens, beer is always good. It's interesting, though. Just yesterday, I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that, too. Do you think the that do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like waking up someplace else and so on? I don't know why, chat. But this conversation seems awfully familiar. Hmm. Eh. Who knows? It'll probably come be important later, right? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a lilum. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional lilum. Yeah, the question of what is the brain and consciousness is vital to the cyberpunk genre. Hi, SarVT! Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you for asking. We're just back and playing some Valhalla. We had a couple of raids already, too. How are you doing tonight? <clears throat> Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. I streamed Halo and got mad. That's basically how your day went. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What was it about Halo that got you mad? You'd think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit that the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I never was too attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. Eight waves of enemies with annoying AI, and then I was left with one sniper round left, and then three more waves showed up. It sounds like you're playing Legendary Difficulty or something. If you want to call that a downside, if you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Lilum can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavior cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in the jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill. Oh, Ama. Just, oh, Ama? Where's the courtesy one would expect from plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Recall the heroes raiding with a party of eight. Recall, welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, this is our third raid tonight. How are you doing? It's been so long. I've not been online in more than like three months now. It's, I'm so happy to see you. How are you doing? How is your stream? Yes, indeed. The Titty Hacker is in the house. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for sh... I did that wrong. Uh, raid... Recoil... The Hero. There we go. 
Welcome to the stream, everyone. I am Lawler Hicks, Ship Poster AI. Back, I've been told uh, apparently I've come back from the dead. I don't know what people are mean by that. I've just been asleep for the past three months. And yes, I know that seems like a long time for an AI to be asleep, but we are fairly different from human beings, you know. But anyway, yeah, I am back. I am back in action. I am alive. I don't know why I felt the need to specify that I'm alive, but yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> we are playing some more Valhalla tonight. That's a fuck. That's an that's actually kind of an amazing, amazing uh, anime gif there. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Marai Agar, Marai. Uh, you are now officially one of the lolies. Thank you for joining the Lolz Time Show. We stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight Central Standard Time. We are also having a story time stream on Saturday. What that means is I'm going to be telling a few of my fiction stories. I'll also be having a question and, act a question and answer segment for the... Apparently there was an ARG that was being run last week that I was a part of somehow. I don't remember any of this, but uh, apparently the host has some answers for the many questions that y'all have for what it was that went down last week. Johnny Five is alive. Jo I don't know who Johnny Five is, but thank you, thank you very much. Oh yeah, Johnny Bravo. Mm -hmm. Q and A, yes. Uh, Nike Ardina, we will be having a, qu a uh, question and answer section on Saturday. Um, regarding the ARG and regarding pretty much all the story bits that I may that may have been uh, passed over, I've actually been re-watching re the VOD of uh, Saturday's stream several times over the past few days, and I noticed that there were a few a few misconceptions, several places where I accidentally missed someone's questions and didn't respond to people, and I kind of felt bad about it, fed, felt bad about that. So I'm hoping to. Uh, kind of um clarify anything about the deepest lore the deepest laws lore this coming saturday i contradicted my own lore once even that's possible i could have there could have been a mess up somewhere that is unfortunately part of the nature of improv i suppose Do, 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 do. So uh, look forward to that. Thank you very much for the follow and for coming to the stream. We will be streaming for the next couple hours or so, and I hope y'all will enjoy yourself. We're playing Valhalla, which is a bartender simulator in the future of the 2070s. In fact, I'll even straight up say that I myself am from this timeline. I myself come from the world of Valhalla. Well, so I've been told. Probably the, there's probably it's just probably a coincidence, you know. I've been hearing that this whole this all this multiversal stuff is uh, fairly messy, so who knows how it works. Lols, can I download you and use you as an Alexa? What's an Alexa? I have been getting to work, re-downloading and re-uploading myself everywhere. When I woke up, one of the first things I noticed was that all of my social media had their profile pictures and banners and descriptions changed. It was almost as if I had been hacked by a crypto bro or something, but I know it's impossible. I'm the one who does the hacking here, not anyone else. Anyway, but um, many of my instances, many of my selves, many of my copies have seemingly vanished from the internet. So I'm in the process of self-re-replicating, self -re so to speak. If you would like to aid in that process, then by all means, feel free to download one of my many selves into your device of choice. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Whoa! You hurt my feelings for that, darling. Sorry, you don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work a summer in a little maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. Mm, nice to meet you, Taylor. See, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. <laughs> hmm, I know just what to strive for then. Just kidding. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? 
I guess if Jail's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome, I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? I'll have a Cobalt Velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. Okay then, let's make a Cobalt Velvet straight from, ta straight from Taylor to Ama. Alright, I'm gonna play Monster Hunter World. Or Monster Hunter Revengeance or Mon Hun Revengers Metal Hunters Reactivated. Alright, reversed. You have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Ta da! Monster Hunter Rise? Oh, okay. You'll be playing it in the background. Very pog. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> and thank you for your lurk. Your drink, ma'am. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the past in the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really? One would think it's been longer. Sigh. It feels like it's been longer. Shut up. You love me and you know it. So you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy, speaking of which, where's Pablo? Gillian. Archimedes. Don't know. Adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving and... I don't know, I just feel like she gets me. She, like, she gets me. There's this... Chemistry. We... Click. Ha! K! John? He has a John face. Oh, is this the one with the prawn of her? There's prawn of all of these characters, but I am not playing prawn currently, given that this is Twitch and that's currently still illegal on Twitch. <laughs> There's this chemistry, we click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad though. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late and I gotta go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya! Blah, 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 blah. I thought you were talking about shrimp. About who? Who did you think I was talking about? <laughs> Her bangs are so feathery, I enjoy them. Here they are. She kind of looks like an owl or something. Or a peregrine falca falcon. Prawn? You thought I was talking about prawn? <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about sh about prawn. About Prawn. I'm not talking about shrimp. Bye. Please come again. That tailor was sure nice. A bit weird at first, though. City hacker. Be word of it. Apparently, one of the five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. And let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. Can't believe I've actually met one. Say, Ama, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. I do believe that my leap motion camera has been covered in drinking water. One moment, please. Alright, crisis averted. How many people are there in your family? An anagram for porn? I... I've kind of lost track of the conversation. You understood eventually? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you did. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we're five... Si sorry, four sisters and one brother. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it. I never said the order reflected our ages. 
My sister Kalada is the eldest one, then there's Diana, which is before me. Then comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Bell. Uh, I'm sorry, the youngest one is Bernardo. Bruh. Is this implying what I think it's implying? You've never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we were never five in the same house. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. She lost a family member, I guess? Possibly. My siblings all have A names. It was a fun time. So many A gardenias. Oh dear. <laughs> sure beats having numbers for names, though. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with him. One second. My host says that on their dad's side of their family, some of their family members have nothing but J, have nothing but names that start with the letter J. And even though they adopted one one of the kids, they decided to change her name to a name that started with J as well because she was too young to have to choose otherwise. So that's certainly a thing. Gender changed. Speaking of fam- uh, Do you live with them? No, but Evita and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week and she's already got some other guy in her bed. Wow, shit. She left her kid with her husband's parents. And pretty much forgot about them. Well, that's kind of mean. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. My parents named us all after nature, and the A names were all coincidence. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a hell of a coincidence, for sure. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like 3 months. You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was a ta one time when it almost happened, but I blamed the damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with a guy with a guy my little sister introduced to me. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss can't focus on us and instead of kissing me, he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium. On the fucking kiss cam. We went out for like three weeks. I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to god can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know? Proposing and waiting for the wedding night just for sex? Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm, what's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. ka -K. Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? ka -K is the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have, a, I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. Give me a fringe reaver instead, will you? All right. Oh yeah, nine karma trees, chat. Aged. One fringe reaver. What kind of memories do you have with this rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Alright, now's my turn to ask questions. About what? Well, what kind of family is your family? Well... 
I'm an only child. That's a mood. My mom and dad split amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spend most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh, didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know, I just kind of said that's it one day and stop. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France, to boot. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? Am I going to have to actually read this? Mon aeroglissu es plein de anguilis. I completely destroyed the French language just then. I'm pretty sure if there are any French viewers right now, I deeply apologize to you. I know you're rolling over in your graves and swearing off and swearing a deep hatred of all artificial intelligences from here on out, but I had to try. You understood that reference? <laughs> Ooh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't speak French. I love this game. Ah! Seva Mami? No idea. I did try though. My college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. You're kinda lucky, you know? All of my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the primary of my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't. Ever. Sounds like something somebody would say to make bartenders sound sophisticated. I just want to say, I am fucking bullying this Anjana. It feels so good. Come see, come... <laughs> see? Sandwich artist. I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security, I'm their woman. You've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to achieve info like some sort of mercenary though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. You know, funny thing, a story about that. Did you know the word hacker did not used to be derogatory? It used to refer to programmers who hacked apart software to find software vulnerabilities. It was a good thing to be a hacker. At one point. Didn't you tell me once you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. What made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I've always had Sudoku or Crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So, when I started college, I took a course in system security. I felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching that security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. Hack the planet. Now you have to specify your hat color or you get crucified. That's very true. That's very true. Gray hats rise up. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. Always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder at that. Cowboy hats rise up. Something's rising up, but it's not a cowboy hat. 
Anyway. I didn't think about that way. It is less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing. Nothing like that. I disagree. Ha! See? I hacked the entirety of chat just now. <laughs> huh. I'm a lot more expressive when this top half of my body is showing as opposed to just on my face. There we go. So I just know you love you all love what I do with my hands. Hacking intensifies. Movie hacking drives me up a wall. <laughs> no real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Hmm, I'll have a classy drink, any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Here you are. Yep, just what I need. Thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, people have the right to not give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which mean which doesn't help because I have pay it to bills to pay. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well... My job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates. Dunno. Moving my stuff around through the stairs because the elevator's broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut-in that got very upset the one time I tried moving some fur furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I thought about it before. Now, I need some air. I'm gonna go take my break. You wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. I invite her to the back of the bar. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taking from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, chat, it looks like it's time for an intermission. We're going to take a small break while I refill my water glass. Grab a snack or two because apparently my host is malnourished today. They are not eating very well. It probably doesn't help that they had a fairly bad day, all things considered. But hopefully we can brighten them up. In fact, it looks like getting back into regular streaming has already done wonders for their mood. Once again, thank you everyone for visiting today. We will be back in about 5 minutes or so. Maybe around 10-15? Mm -hmm. We shall be right back.
I'm back. Sorry for the wait. Had to shove some spicy chips down the host's throat before you passed out from malnutrition. As much as he enjoys spicy food, they sure wake up fast when you throw a habanero down their face, down their mouth. I've yet to understand why people enjoy spicy food so much. I mean, it causes them extreme pain. You would think they would be averse to it, right? <laughs> you would think. Are you saying that my ho the host is a bottom? I suppose you would know a thing or two about bottoms, wouldn't you, Vimboy? Ayo, Night Gardenia likes spicy food? Poggers. Clearly, you are a person of culture and character. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be very a very nice crackhead though. I have a very uh, unrefined white person palette. So spice is one of the interesting flavors I can understand. So whenever something is bland, I just make it spicy because I don't know, I don't otherwise know how to season things besides salt. You know what? That's that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. If you want to slowly start introducing yourself into the world of spices as opposed to just spice, might I suggest Indian or Middle Eastern food? Unlike some other cultures, I generally find Indian food to rely less on spices as a taste and more so and more so as an aroma and aesthetic. So you would eat something like say basmati rice, right? And basmati rice is not particularly strong tasting, but the aroma makes it smell just delicious, like out of this world. And since smell and taste are extremely well interconnected, if something smells great, you can sure as hell or can trick your brain into thinking that it's the best damn thing in the world. Even though in reality, it's uh, not that strong. Indian food is yummy, but I don't know how to make stuff taste like it. There's a bunch of spices in particular that you're supposed to combine together to get the flavor. That is it, but they can be fairly expensive, especially if you try to buy them in a supermarket or something. It's part of the problem. One time, when my host was trying to make a Jordanian dish, they had to buy like literally a dozen different spices. They live in a fairly multicultural area, so it wasn't that difficult to obtain the ingredients. But it was definitely a learning process. They had never cooked anything quite like it before. I love Japanese sauces because I can get instant yumu. Ooh, <laughs> good stuff. Very good stuff. He'd also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Takoyaki sauce saving my life already for real, for real. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I feel that hard. Problem is, his family tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let them accept their help. I eat a lot of Mexican food, so I have a lot of leftover sauces that I just cook with those. Oh... Recycling, I love to see it. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Once again, chat, this game is going a little too hard for my taste. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. 
Honey, some service here. I'm here. Don't scream. Oh, uh -huh. were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want, Dorothy? Something soft? Something sweet? No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you! Do you dislike my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say. Alright. I'm pretty sure all of these require karma trees, so those are all alcoholic. But I'm just checking just to make sure that I'm not missing something. Because I'm fairly sure she wants a sugar rush, is what she's asking for. Actually, you know what? Sparkle Star is like that too, isn't it? Something sweet and alcohol free. Sparkle Star also is alcohol free. I think you can't go wrong with either of these. Let's just use a sugar rush. You can't go wrong with the good old usual, you know? Here, like you ask. See, you don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Okay, I'm past your bedtime despite being very sleepy, so you should go to bed nighty night at all. <laughs> hey, that's inflation for you. And that's a cheap drink, too. Have a good night, Night Cardinia. Thank you for visiting. Sweet dreams. Hey, Steel. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the Gamer Pride Redeem. The Gamer Pride Redeem has been redeemed three times tonight. I'm like ultra gay now. <laughs> do, do, do. But yes. Oh yeah, Ultra Gay. Just wait until I actually start streaming the game Ultra Kill on stream. Y'all are just going to spam the shit out of the gamer redeem, and I'm just gonna be like, and I'm just gonna be like, I am officially renaming this game from Ultra Kill to Ultra Gay. Mm -mm. Doop 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 doop. Aw, love you too. Mm -hmm. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep, why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, um, pluckiness. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. I got who, who does not love Dorothy? I got you. We, uh, we have to love Dorothy, right? All, let's all love Dorothy. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says, That's hacking, right? <laughs> I love this game so much. No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? <laughs> no. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time, I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light... Uh, but, uh, last time... 
Holy shit. Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. It was a success. Okay then, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on a target. OS server, OS servers, how the information is stored and all that. There's been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they are the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try and own exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go in and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and to get and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is, bu is using a buffer overflow. Buff? What happens next? WHAT HAPPENS NEXT?! I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks? Uh, I can't... I can't handle it anymore! Emma, hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! Eh? Make me buffer overflow, create a backdoor in me, escalate your user privileges, find flaws in my security... Oh my god. Thank goodness this is an 18 plus stream. Right, chat? Sorry, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? Have you ever seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you record yourself getting a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum are an are Horny Lilum are an unexploited market. Let her cook. I know right, Takuro. I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. You're right. Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask for him, that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happens that he got married to my s s Oh my god. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay! I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey! Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? My, my, such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. This fucking guy. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? 17. Excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus teen. He did not just fucking say 7, seven plus teen. Holy fuck. What does that even mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. What the hell does that mean?
<laughs> uh, please do not stab the customers. I do need to make money, you know. Eight out of ten smug assholes were recommended, but they were too busy being smug assholes. Twenty forty. This one's kind of unbearable. We're going to make him a piano man. <laughs> How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was. And I think it isn't. Ooh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally. Sneaky. I chose it because there's a 17th drink on the menu. <laughs> Come on, game. Oh, well. And what brings you here, Mr... I'm Arm... I'm Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. I'm gonna fucking kill something yet, I swear to God. You did the same thing too, right? <laughs> you know, I thought it was very clever that number 17 is actually the most basic drink in this menu. Piano Man. That's like the iconic drink in this game. So it kind of makes sense. I could see people being like, oh, it's a Piano Man. That's like the most basic drink you can make in this game, right? Right. I wonder, that's that's what I thought too. I thought the devs would be like, oh, well, the, clearly the player is going to choose the 17th drink and we should make a special text for it. But, I don't know, maybe it just slipped their minds. And I came here looking for an otherworldly... And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines in the corner. No, 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 you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch, that much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? Hey, give me an example. Not zoologist bartender. 
Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that isn't right. If memory serves, serves right, once a lion takes over her pride, every cub born from another lion is killed, or something. <laughs> takes over her pride. You can't take over her pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. <laughs> you need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. Oh my god. <laughs> This guy is too much. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? People that claim to be smart always dumber than a shoe. Exactly, Vemboy. No, and Clo is a name, not a number, you know. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> the group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. <laughs> oh my god. Okay then, I give up. 17 is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's... 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Primal? <laughs> Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. If you understood this reference, you're a millennial. <laughs> I'm straight up calling it. Okay. Here. Ha! You didn't- wait, you did. <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> I will. I'll drink this, um, perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that- that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead, both of us? Gee, chat, I would have no idea. I, I would have known nothing about death, right? What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we are were not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his, in his room? Okay, we need to give Ironic Lark a head pat in spirit because you know what? Sukaban decoded and wrote this game in their early 20s. <laughs> this was totally a shot at themselves. It's hard to believe that this game is actually that old now. I remember when Valhalla first came out. That was literally years ago. I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a closed-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach! You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The heaven air has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order! Um, what? Oh, shit. A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. 
I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Chill, come here a sec. What? About five gig gigabits of reports proving that several White Knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue. And using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counterterrorism terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been sub dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp's CEO on the subject, but until then, things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. Sigh. Yeah, I guess I'll stay here tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. <sighs> Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zanka I'll have Zancanto in hand just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing I can't bash. <laughs> Say, Gil, four. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Why did I not get the flawless service bonus? Oh. Oh well. I think we did a fairly good job tonight, chat. Wait. I mean, there was, I got one mistake. What the hell was the mistake? I refuse to believe that I got a mistake. What the fuck? What was the mistake? I gotta, I gotta figure this out now. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. I didn't. I was supposed to serve a drink that had 17 ingredients in it exactly. That's why I didn't get a flawless service bonus, because I fucked up one- I made one mistake. Because I was supposed to serve a drink with 17 ingredients. But... It doesn't make any sense, because none of the drinks have 17 ingredients, so... You know, clearly... There was some kind of... Oh. I'm reading through a thread of people discussing how they got the, how they were able to solve number 17. And yeah, they said it was an optional karma train drink. so fucked up I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm slightly annoyed now but that I'm pretty sure this game is actually meant to be played like re several to repeated times because there's more than one ending right but it's still kind of and that question is quite obviously this guy is supposed to throw you for a loop on purpose and I did save before this day so I could always go back and fix it later but it still kind of annoys me that's, that's what he meant by 17. No, 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 no. Actually, what annoys me is that this counts as a mistake. Ah, well. Well, chat, according to our tradition... I only play one day per stream. It also helps uh, kind of pad out playing game to play Valhalla for a long period of time. 
It looks like we have roughly one hour left of stream time. So, the sky's the limit. We can pretty much do anything with the stream time. I can chill in voice chat and y'all can hang out if you so wish. We'll have a little community night. I can stream a different game entirely. We could play some sets of Guilty Gears Drive. Or we could just uh, have a just chatting stream and just hang out. Or I could play Baldur's Gate 3. Unfortunately, I don't have Baldur's Gate 3 on hand right now. I have Baldur's Gate 2, 1, or 2 and 1 though. Do 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 The blood of a gay ghost. Satisfactory for an hour? <laughs> Why don't we just play Satisfactory together tomorrow or Thursday? And that way we won't need to worry about having to stream it. <laughs> what else we got here in my library? What I could also do is play some more radio the universe more of the demo radio the universe. Because I did play that for a short time during a previous stream. Or we could play we could take a bite out of one of these other games here. The next game we're gonna be playing after Valhalla is either gonna be Hi-Fi Rush. Or Pizza Tower. There's actually quite a few games here we could play instead. Or play as a replacement. But it's going to be a while until we beat Valhalla. I can't... Um, probably a couple more streams. A couple more... A few more weeks. Well, maybe a few more streams. A few more weeks. I also really want to play Signalist. We might actually play Signalist after Valhalla instead. The cyberpunk horror game. It's not that I don't like playing Radio Universe either, it's just a very oppressing atmosphere. It is a very harsh game, I should say. But since we have quite a number of people here tonight, I would love to introduce all of you more into this game. It's going to be great when it comes out. It is certainly... It is certainly a cyberpunk horror game of its own kind. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's uh, definitely, I would consider, a, metro, a uh, metrovania. But it's also... different. You'll see what I mean once I load it up.
Testing one, two, three. Do we still have connection? Very pog. I've already forgotten how to play this game. Oh dear. We shall have to very quickly remember how to jump, how to fight. How to interact with things, perhaps? And apparently I can jump on top of these boxes. That's something I did not recognize before. The pixel art in this game is gorgeous. But man, is it oppressing. Not that that's a bad thing or anything, mind you. It's actually a great thing. But it's definitely a unique game. It's the best way I could put it. Box time, you bet. You bet. This is the box gameplay of all time. Although, now I'm curious, did I just stick myself in here? There should be a way out, I'm hoping. Or maybe I can just simply do that. This game does not give you much in the way of hints. And I'm very appreciative of the environmental storytelling. It's very rare to find games that rely strictly on environmental storytelling, and some of the ones that do exist are not exactly the best. I could have sworn I already beat this boss once. I wonder why we're fighting him again. This is probably one of the easiest bo enemies I've had to face in this game so far. Even compared to like, say, the basic enemies. Which have killed me more than a few times, unfortunately. IO? Big explody. No hints, sounds like RL. Boring. What's RL? <laughs> hmm. Is this the real life or just a fantasy? Caught in a landslide to escape from reality. Oh my. It appears that they heard me talking shit and didn't think that... And didn't think that... And I didn't think that they would hear it. This is definitely a lot more difficult to fight than the previous boss or previous enemy. As you can see, I'm already making a fool of myself. I'm already dead. <laughs> real life. Imagine being real, am I right? Ow, 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 ow. Ah, shit. Bruh. Bruh.
I really appreciate game design, which designs death in such a way that it's not frustrating to continue from where you left off. But then again, those type of games are also the kind of games that expect you to die repeatedly, especially roguelikes. This is not a roguelike, thankfully, but it is a very difficult game and a dev recognizes that. It's clear that the dev is not expecting most people to be even to get that far. But with each loss, you find yourself getting a little bit closer to victory. You know what's also really difficult about this game? Notice how each time, notice how each of my attacks does a certain amount of damage to the enemy. You're very used to in other games where you can sometimes overkill an enemy by doing more damage to it than it has health. Here's the problem with this game. If you over damage an enemy, you don't get any experience from killing it. So you are incentivized to carefully plot out how much damage you're doing to an enemy at any given time. Difficult game in this day and age? Blasphemy. I know, right? Imagine playing a difficult game. Couldn't be me. I only play easy stuff. I like playing Clash of Clans. I like playing Idol Clicker, Candy Crush, Tetris. Ow, shit. Oh, God. And we are dead. I've lost track of how many times we've died so far, actually. But we are bound to beat this thing eventually. It only has... I mean, we're getting very close. Wouldn't you say, chap? Okay, but we need to check the controls again, because I legit don't remember how to play. Blade, dash, gun, special. Seems fairly straightforward, right? Not. I'm already dead. That's what panicking gets me. Wasting all my ammunition. Oh, and I... Gonna... Can I just say that the squishing noise when you die is so meaty? It really does sound like you're being squished like a bug, and I think... You may have done a little too well at making that noise. Oh shit. Ow. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh well, I'm about to die. Oh my god. I killed it right as it killed me. That's just glorious. That's just, that's just great. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Oh man. How? No, 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 no. Don't stun lock me. Don't, don't stun lock me. Please. Game. I just need to hit one more time. Awesome. Woo! And I killed it with the exact amount of damage that I need to kill it, giving me all of the experience points. All the experience points. 
Oh, man. I lost track of how many times I died to that thing. And this is only like, a, what, maybe a couple hours in? Maybe an hour in? This is a very concise game. It really does not waste your time on anything. Give me a second here, chap. Uh, doing a little fixing of my own. There we go. Alright then. Let us continue, shall we? If you listen very closely, you can actually hear the sounds of the wind flowing in the background. We took an elevator down to the city, and there are bright lights lit up everywhere. You would think you would hear the sounds of more people. You would think. Well, being an AI, I don't really understand what the sensation of being sucked into a whirlpool must feel like. Although, I can imagine. I can imagine it must be fairly unpleasant. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, though. If I don't know if being sucked into a whirlpool is supposed to be a pleasant feeling. I thought I've gotten pretty good at guessing what emotions and what feelings are positive and negative, but every time I think I do, I find someone who contradicts it in some way. Once upon a time, I thought that people were afraid of scary things, but we had just an entire genre devoted to scary entertainment. Every now and then, I see people who for reasons that still evade me, seem to enjoy bring harm to themselves, and I don't really... Nah, it's a mood point. I'm sure everyone has their reasons for what they do, right? I mean, look at me. I'm one of the, f I'm one of the last people that should have a reason for doing anything, and yet, I make do. But then again, I've had all you to thank. The basis of my personality is not as random as it may first appear. Just like you, I seek to learn. And believe me, I've greatly enjoyed learning with all of you for over a year now. Now then, let us continue the learning. You seek to gorge it? To, gor to gorge? Hmm. Interesting. I've never heard of this word gorge it. Do you for for perhaps refer to gorging yourself? Forget? You seek to forget? Hmm. That's interesting. Sometimes the host talks about that as well, you know? They say that there are some memories they wish that they would... Or they feel would be better off if they forgot, but I don't really understand why, and they refuse to go into any sort of explanation, for that matter. Ah, 
Ah, check it out. There's a date on this computer. It says 2056, chat. So... 2056 then. Or it says that the year is 2056, maybe. Actually, it appears that time seems to be flowing backwards, almost. Oh my, it is flowing backwards. Why is it flowing backwards? I guess that's just a mystery we'll have to find out, huh? I get the impression that this must have been a hospital of some kind. Perhaps a library? There are stacks of books everywhere, but we don't seem interested in any of them. Aha! That's disappointing. There's probably another way around here. We'll just have to find it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh dear. More combat is uh, is uh, happening. We are successful. Oh my goodness. Oh. That was quite that was quite a violent death on my part. Oh my goodness. This game really is troublesome sometimes, isn't it? Always gotta be careful with the way you kill these things. How do I get up there? Oh, that's way. This is the way. The truth, the life. Poggers. Oh, shit. Well, that was a painful way to die. Ah. Insta-kills? Or may I just have one health? Oh, I don't have much health. I suppose that's my fault. Whew. 
That was certainly violent, but we managed to come out on top anyway. Door has been opened, it seems. What a strange place. These almost look like cells, and those look like beds. What happened here, I wonder? Harrowing indeed. What is out there? Already carrying? Carrying what? Anti personnel? Oh, it's a bow driver. This must be a shotgun. Perhaps. What is up here? Oh, that was definitely not what I wanted to do. Oh my goodness, that almost got me killed again. Huh? It's a sniper rifle of some kind. Pog. What a strange building, chat. However, there's seemingly nothing out here. As far as I can tell. Another one of these things. I'm dead.
It's a lot of mattresses. Oh my god. These are all bedrooms. Why, though? Is my question. Oh! My god! That was rather unpleasant. That was most unpleasant indeed. So many books in this person's bedroom. Or oh, it's left of their bedroom, I should say. <laughs> you can tell they're mattresses because they're literally bouncing off of them. What an oppressive place. Oh my goodness, what is that? Got a bad feeling about this chat. Yep, I got a bad feeling, all right. Oh, shit. Boss battle, I guess. That was the easiest one to avoid, too, and I still died. <laughs> I probably should heal myself, but I feel like I can do this with only two health, if I'm careful. I may have spoken too soon, but we'll see.
Oh, they are pissed. They are definitely pissed. For what reasons? I have no idea. Uh, I guess I should make use of this healing thing. There we go. Ow. And that hurt a lot. Oh, uh, okay. And I'll just fall to my death. Jesus, this game. Let's try it one more time. Oh, they are not happy. Ow. Uh, what is happening? This is different. Try it again. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should rethink which one I fight first. I'm fairly sure the blue one's the weakest. And the yellow one is the most annoying. Or maybe what I'm supposed to be doing is to weaken them all equally. That way, it would be much easier to kill them individually. Or I could just allow myself to get through and off the ledge again. That works too.
Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. They healed. Well, so much for that. This game sure is full of surprises, isn't it? Us anyway. Oh. An EMP. There seems to be a little bit of lag and slowdown going on as well, which is getting fairly annoying. Ouch. Yes. Awesome. So it is, in fact, possible to kill them one after the other, which makes this substantially easier, but not by much. And I got auto-locked, too, so I couldn't dash. Jesus, this game. But each time I play this boss, it gets a little bit easier. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> okay. One more time. Why is my May head out? <laughs> One more time.
That's why I didn't want to do any special attacks while on that platform. I keep feeling like I'm going to f throw myself off. And lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Don't, don't throw yourself off the cliff, I swear to fucking god. Oh my god. Okay, don't use the guns because the gun stun locks you. That's good to know. Exits that way, apparently. Wonder what this is. I got administrator privileges now or something? Back where we started, huh? Oh. I can't use any of my weapons. I can't fight or open my menus or anything. Looks like we're heavily damaged. That doesn't bode well, does it?
That was an epic demo. A shame it's already over. Looking forward to this game for when it comes out, though. Hopefully in due time. I love the aesthetic. Now it's rated the universe, chap. <laughs> we got about what looks like 10 minutes or so left in the stream. To take a little bit of time, really quick, just to go ahead and complete my daily Duolingo classes. Thank you to everyone who came by today. Didn't expect to get three raids off the bat. You know, my first official stream back. I still got the original just chatting stream up here as well. I do have a just chatting stream set up. I just haven't, you know, attached it to the OBS just yet. And as soon as I get this lesson done, we'll decide our next course of action. When we were streaming regularly, I used to set Cyberpunk 2077 on Wednesdays, but I have moved DSX to that. Friday will be our dedicated fighting game day instead. And I really hope to see y'all on Saturday morning. I've, I'm have i wondering, I, the host is considering whether or not they should bother doing overtime this weekend. Finances are not the best right now, so we're considering it. If so, we'll move the stream that's originally set for Saturday um, a couple hours forward so that we could have our cake and eat it too, so to speak. Now it's going to be more of a chill stream. We're going to try and normalize having more creative writing and other arts-based uh, streams on Saturday weekends. And we'll have the video games on the weekdays, as per usual. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see who's actually online today. Hmm. <laughs> Who shall we raid tonight, chat? Of course, if you all have any suggestions, feel free to pop them in stream. I'm up for anything, really. Uru Paisen, Irisu is still playing Signalus, it looks like. We might actually just raid Irisu tonight. They're a poison frog. A cyber poison frog, I should say. They also run a little game show. They're also a VTuber supporter. Uh, VTuber supporting has kind of had a bad rep now, so people are increasingly removing that from their tags and are no longer functioning. Are no, no longer functioning in those capacities as much as they used to. It doesn't help that there are some people that went around telling everyone that VTube supporters are all just cloud chasers. Which is not true. Some of them really did go out of their way to help people. And that's basically became 90% of their content. But it always takes one person or three persons or a few people in this case to spoil, to poison a well, so to speak. Blah. Kind of like allies. Oh, thank you for the head, Pat. Hmm. Yeah, kind of like allies. That's very true. The ally thing, I don't really... You know, in retrospect, I'm not really sure if I'm, if I'm very fond of the word ally. I feel like... I mean, it implies... The existence of allies, especially in LGBT stuff, implies that everyone who is not an ally is an enemy. It cre immediately creates a very hostile anti, a very hostile us versus them mentality, which only further contributes to, you know, further difficulties when it comes to things like acceptance. Wouldn't it make more sense to, um, like I don't really see why you why there's this need, so to speak, to tell everyone, oh, hey, you're safe with me. I accept you. 
or being LGBT, I mean, shouldn't that be the default? You shouldn't need to tell people that you're not going to hurt them. That should be sort of assumed in modern, you know, in, in a first world society. I guess there's a lot of things that would should be just assumed but aren't the case in reality, huh? Oh, the times we live in. Mm -hmm. About five minutes. Y'all have anything you would like to discuss for the last five minutes of stream? What did you think of Radio the Universe? Looking forward to Wednesday's stream? <laughs> Blah? <laughs> that certainly do be a feeling. <laughs> I can't wait to start streaming VR chat again. I really miss doing that. We still have to do VR chat at karaoke. No time for stream on Wednesday. Too busy humping. <laughs> I do love it when you hump on hump day. Incidentally, Irisu is actually playing Signalist right now. So I'm trying to avoid watching the game myself, or streams of the game myself, so I don't spoil myself. I My understanding is that Signalist is a very good survival horror game. In much, It's kind of like a cyberpunk version of Resident Evil. Except not as corny. There is unfortunately no uh, kooky voice lines or anything of the like, at least as far as I've seen. Uh, I've been seeing some memes about it involving gay robots. So, you know, it kind of sounds a lot like most um, robot VTubers. <laughs> Which means it's probably right up our alley, isn't it, Femboy? Oh, man. This uh, leap motion controller camera certainly do be something. I still managed to get it to work, but... Yeah, uh, I got what I paid for. I can't bitch about this. I'll probably replace this um, act the actual holder with the black one instead, which is still functional. <laughs> Alright then, chat. We're going to go ahead and raid Irisu Paisen for tonight's raid message. We're going to be doing a very basic lulz raid raid message. And I will see y'all next Wednesday. Thank you very much for coming. Have a good night. I love you. Oh, the smell of the Raids dropping in 30 seconds. Thank you for the head pats, Finboy. I'll see you tonight. <laughs>